So as yesterday we discussed about it, very simple. What we have is from one point to point another point, right? <clears throat> From this point, I want to reach to this point. Okay. I can take the shortest way possible. We know that shortest distance, shortest distance between any two points is a straight line. Anna? That you know from the maths. Correct. Now, what I can do is mm -hmm. I can to take n number of routes. I can go from here to all the way zigzag. Anna? Okay. Right, I can take n number of routes. This is route one, route two, route three. Right, so if I take route one, then that is the distance that I have covered. Okay, if I take route two, then the distance will be more. If I take route three, it's even lengthier. Correct, displacement is the shortest distance between two points. We can say that. Okay. The actual distance, this actual this instead of actual distance, we are talking about the shortest distance between two points. Yes, understood. Does it make sense to you now? What the difference between yes, distance sir. and displacement? Yeah. Yes. Sir. And when we, whenever we are talking about distance and displacement, when we talk about uh, because somebody just said how fast, right? So when when we talk about being fast, what we are doing is basically we are considering already one. One aspect of motion is one aspect of motion is the distance covered, right? Distance or displacement, yes. And the second aspect of this entire thing is the time, right? In timely fashion, right? That's what it takes. Okay. So if you go by this route, if you go by route one, say for <clears throat> say for example, you are taking five minutes. If you go by route two, it may take you thirty minutes. And if you go by route three, then it it may take two hours, Anna? Yes, because the more distance you cover, it is quite possible that you you will be taking more time. It is quite possible, Anna? Correct? Are you with me? Yes. Very good. Yes. Very. Good. Okay. So when we talk about when we talk about the aspect of motion when we talk about two things one is the actual distance distance or displacement we will come to that point and the second point is the time okay so let's go back to the text here we are right so when we talk about the distance covered in specific time right that's what is called as speed right when you say that I covered five meters in a minute, then your speed becomes five meter per minute. Okay. Per right. second. Sorry, five meter per minute. I just say minutes. now. Per per second, it is also possible, right? Per hour, it is also possible because then it it becomes all mathematics. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay. Right. So. These three questions, I want you to think about it and write the answers of these three questions on your own, right? You have to first think and discuss with your with your classmates, with your friends, right? And then you have to come to a conclusion on this one, okay? Yes, everyone understood? These three questions, very important questions. They're in text questions. They are very important. Sir, we have to write. Sorry? Sir, we have to write it, uh, the answers of these questions yes, in notebook. You will, yes, you will have to write them. Yes. But first, before writing, I want you to discuss it with your friends. That is more important. Right? Have a discussion on this one. Give some example. Like the first question, it clearly says, can it have a zero displacement? Is it possible to have a zero displacement? Even if you have covered, say, 5 kilometers or 10 kilometers. Distance covered is say 10 kilometers, but displacement can can it be a zero? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Why? Can you yes. give an example? Sir, uh, if we have started uh, started covering distance from one point and we come back there only, so our displacement is zero. 
very good very good so if it is a circular path if it is a circular path then you may have covered a whole long distance depending upon what what is the radius of the circle hai na right it is quite possible that you have covered uh, you you may walk along the circumference all the way and then after that you come back to zero only hai na point of origin right okay and this second one also is very important example try it on your own otherwise i will share the answers with you later on hai na okay now like i said when we talk about motion right <clears throat> one aspect of motion is the distance the second aspect is the time factor hai na now look at these look at this two objects distance traveled by object a in meters and the distance traveled by object b in meters okay look at this one at 9:30 am it had reached up to 10 meters this one is at 12 meters at 9:45 am this one has reached to 20 meter but this one has re reached at 19 meter okay from this table what do you infer what do you understand with the help of this table uniform motion and non uniform motion non uniform and uniform motions very good look at the distance dif difference in the distance covered at every time interval for every 15 minutes object a travels exactly 15 meter sorry 10 meters hai na for every 15 minutes it is traveling exactly 10 meters whereas object b the first one 7 second only 4 in the third 12 fourth one only two again four three hai na yes so yeah. what hap what happens is when an object it travels exactly same distance in the given time zone even the given the time period then it is said to be a uniform motion motion right then it's a uniform motion okay what is uniform motion we will see the definition in a second now these are some of the instances of non uniform motion that we have discussed yes right based on this one hai na so i want you to read i'm going to give you 2 minutes read this passage on your own i'm going to give you 1 minute only for one passage come on read it out take your time then so this is your definition when an object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time it is said to be in uniform motion right and when the object covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time it is said to be in uniform motion a uh, non uniform motion okay right from one definition you can make out make out the other definition yes or no Yes, sir. Very. Yes, good. sir. Oh, very good. Now, yes, one of sir. the student, one of the student told me because I insist, I keep on saying to all my students that when it comes to definition, you cannot play around with words. Okay, when it, when it comes to definition, if you want to score well in the exams, right, what you need to do is definitions have to be written verbatim. There, you cannot play around with words. You know, when it comes to definitions. right but look at this definition itself the object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time now 
you are, when you are writing a definition and if you mention of the definition of uniform mo motion if you mention equal distance in equal internal uh, sorry interval of time then the definition is correct the words before this particular sent, uh, parts of the uh, words or and after won't matter much hai na right but it the definition must have equal distance covered in equal intervals of time then it is absolutely appropriate clear everyone yes yes very good very good and when it is non uniform motion what do we do it's simple covers it does not cover equal distance hai na in equal in intervals of time right in the in the equal intervals of time the distance covered is unequal right everyone clear on this one yes sir very good very good so as mentioned here the object travels 10 meter in 15 minutes right 10 meters in 15 minutes 10 meter every 15 minute okay so if you forget about the numbers if we lose the numbers then the meter upon minute yes forget about the numbers right that is the unit we know what is a unit correct meter per minute now what is the meter what is uh, what is it unit of it is the unit of distance right correct distance or length right and minute is time so distance upon time right when you talk about distance it uh, it obviously relates to the motion correct and time it's time zone the period of uh, uh, the time it has taken correct so when we are talking about distance covered in specific time then it is called as the rate of motion when we talk about rate of something it is clearly related to the time okay right in what time period it what how much distance is covered okay this is basically now now we are going into the mathematical zone of physics right when we are when we talk about rate of something it clearly mentions it it uh, it belongs to now, now you are into the gr uh, great physics game all right so we have got time uh, sorry distance in the given time hai na right so what we what do we have measuring the rate of motion and when you want to measure it you have to measure the distance covered in the unit time right that's what you have to do okay look at this one the ipl is going on and we all know that how fast some of the fast bowlers they are bowling at quite good speed 140 km per hour 143 km per hour okay right look at the distances or rather the speeds right rate of motion rate of traveling of the ball right the first ball it was at 140 the second one was 143 so it is changing okay now look at this one speed limit we have seen we have all seen this and unfortunately in uh, in india nobody follows this right uh, when especially whenever you are with uh, your parents i request you to take it up with your parents that you know follow this uh, traffic rules meticulously okay <clears throat> so this is the important part now again reading time i'm going to give you 2 minutes of reading you have to start from this point all the way to this read come on on your own now start reading Yes, Tanush.
come on everyone Yeah, ready? Then? Very good. Yes, sir. So, first thing that we are going to discuss is average speed. What is speed? Speed is in given time, in the given time, how much distance you cover. Okay? That is your speed. Okay? Now, when we talk about speed, it clearly says that you have covered this much distance, say from point A to point B. Okay. And in the given time, say five minutes, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, whatever it is. Correct. Yes. Does it mention anything about the direction in which the distance was covered? Yes. Or no. no. Right. It doesn't mention anything about the direction. Anna? So basically, when we talk about speed, we talk about the distance traveled divided by the time taken. It doesn't matter. Even if you are on the circular path, even when the displacement is zero, you may have a good speed. Right? Yesterday, I gave you the example of a Gujarati Kehwat. A Gujarati saying, right? They, it will have a speed. But, yes. We will talk about that later on when we talk about the speed with direction. Okay. So we have got, what do we have? Average speed, total distance traveled upon total time taken, where speed is denoted by small v. Distance traveled is s and the time taken is t. So v is equal to s upon t. Now s in terms of meters and t in seconds meter per second okay that is called as the unit of speed right meter per second yes everyone everyone understands this very good now i uh, have you heard about the standard units of measurement international standards in IS units, have you heard? Does anyone know? Yes. Who is that? Riha? Ria? Was that you? Or Bhakti? Yes. Yes, Ria. Tell me, what do you know about the international standards of units? So there are the units which are used to denote any quantity of thing like uh, uh, alpha, uh, liter, like mm -hmm. uh, meter. Mm -hmm. and, uh, okay, good. So, uh, world scientists, uh, scientists across the world, right? Everybody was uh, talking about uh, speed or some other uh, quantities, like Ria said. Now, the problem arises when somebody says the distance is in meters, somebody says it is in centimeters, somebody says it's in kilometer, and somebody, especially the American ones, they call it foots, right? They call it foot, inch. That's how they come up with mile right now how do we correlate with them because we need to convert and all that right so the world scientists came together on, on a platform and on one platform they clearly mentioned it i believe somebody's mic is on huh? yeah yeah okay then yeah okay metric and imperial yes Akshay. very good very well done metric and imperial units of measurement right so metric system, they everybody agreed on metric system that, okay, this is uh, because in metric system, the benefit is that every unit is in multiples, usually in the multiples of 10. So it becomes easier for calculations, right? So 
metric uh, unit measurements it, it was accepted by the uh, international standards and uh, ever since then everybody whenever we talk about whenever uh, world forum is talking about the uh, specific scientific uh, topics they always mention it in metric systems okay right uh, akshar uh, may i know uh, since you were in uh, singapore which system do they follow do they follow imperial or metric metric system only okay uh, imperial system is mainly used in america and uh, uh, france uh, right and in uh, francophone countries the countries which uh, which were uh, you know either ruled by french or, uh, or uh, they are more inclined towards french right they are the ones who follow that system okay right so we have got unit of speed is meter per second that is our standard okay now say for example here only the example is given as 50 kilometer per hour or we can write it this way also meter per second second inverse you know how to write the powers and indices Hello? powers and indices you have studied so if i write it second inverse they are the same right so when i mention kilometer are inverse right okay so how do we how do i convert them what is the relation between meter and kilometer can somebody tell me multiply thousand yes 50 kilometer r inverse i want to convert this kilometer per hour into meter second inverse can you do that? Come on, everyone. Submit your answers. In the chat box. You can submit the answer in the chat box. Yes, Akshar. Okay. Is there any closer? That's good. That is good. Good, Nitya. Hitanj? Can you please close the door? Very good. I'm getting so many correct answers. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what we have to do? Fifty it is already there. Kilometer per hour. Right? So fifty into one thousand. Now you have to convert because kilometer one kilometer is thousand meter. You have to convert R into second. So one hour is basically sixty minutes, and one minute is. 60 seconds you can directly put 3600 seconds 
Now do the math and find the answer. The answer should be somewhere around 13 point something. Tanush, still having problem right here. I'm really sorry that you are not able to hear me, but uh, there is nothing I can do about it. Is everyone else able to hear me? Aksha uh, responded. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, how about uh, putting your uh, audio systems on? Maybe uh, you haven't you know, clicked on that icon. Come on. So answer should be around 13.89, something like that. Yeah. Did it come to that? Yes. Very good. Yes. That is your so that thirteen point thirteen point eight 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 nine. Very good, Nitya. So thirteen point. If it is continuing like that, then you can round it off. You know how to round off, right? In eighth standard only, you have studied uh, how to round round off the decimal points. So you can put it as eight thirteen point eight nine meter per second. If you, if I want to limit it to two digits after the decimal point, yes. Correct. Yeah. Mm, good, good. Now, hold on a second. Let me take the attendance here. Channel. Just a second. It's a good number. We have about 31 students in the class. Actually, it was, it was 34. Somehow, some of you have been removed, but which is fine, I believe. It will be fine. Just a second, please. And I'm done. Okay. All right. So, what do we have? Average speed, we have found out. Right, so same can be converted into meter per second. Now look at this example, solved example. You can you can write it in the notebook also. Right, an object travels 16 meters in four seconds and then another 16 meters in two seconds. What is the average speed of the subject? So what is average speed? Here it is, total distance traveled upon total time taken. What is the total distance? 16 plus 16 is 32. And total time taken is six seconds. So all you have to do is 32 divided by 6 and the answer is 5.33 meter per second. Yes. Now this is average speed. Anna? This is what? Average speed. They are not saying that this is the speed that it traveled all the way. Right. Say for example, if you start, if you start from your home to come to uh, receive school. Right. When you start, obviously you start slow. It's not like we don't we don't have uh, the Star Trek technology where you start with a great speed, Hannah. Right. So you will start from you will uh, you must have noted it on your moped on on your scooter on your bike that when you start it starts from zero. Then, if you are lucky enough, if you find the road clear enough and the road is in good condition, then you can travel constantly at a good speed, maybe 20, 30. Hannah. Right, ideal speed would be 20 30. Uh, sometimes people go overboard and uh, go at a higher speed, which is not advisable. Right, but there will be barely a time when your odometer, the machine, the mate, uh, uh, that uh, sometimes it is analogous when the uh, 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 when the needle keeps on fluctuating, and sometimes now uh, many of the newer versions they have digital ones, so the digits will keep on changing. Right, we all have experienced that. Especially, you will be able to see a constant speed only when you go to highways, and that too, if you are lucky enough to have a free, uh, you know, com comparatively uh, less traffic, then only you will be able to maintain a constant speed over a long period of time. So your average speed matters a lot. 
right everyone we usually do not go for uniform motion whenever we travel here whenever we make any movement it's usually non uniform motion yes or no yes, yes. very good very good so is everyone clear about the motion uniform motion non uniform motion and average speed yeah very good so this is all we have talked about the speed so far now we are going in going to talk about speed with direction when we are going to focus in which direction you are moving so now the difference is when you are specific direction it changes everything changes right the rate of motion of object can be more comprehensive if it specifies direction of motion along with its speed the quantity oops sorry the quantity sorry velocity is the speed of an object moving in a definite direction right when you have specific direction and you are moving at a constant at the given speed not constant at a given speed it is called as velocity right the speed with a direction then it is called as velocity right yes <clears throat> now velocity of an object can be uniform or variable that is possible right it can be in the same direction right or if the direction changes the velocity changes this is very important part right velocity is about distance covered time and direction okay that is very important part now when we talk about velocity we have to consider three factors which are they first is distance covered second is the time taken and the third one is the direction also okay so that's how we will work on the velocity velocity of an object can be uniform or variable uh, right this is very important when an object is moving along a straight line at a variable speed we can express the magnitude of its rate of motion in terms of average velocity again just as we did for average speed similar way average velocity is defined as or rather given as right average velocity is initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 it's simple average right so mathematically we average now look at this one speed and velocity right u plus v upon 2 where u is the initial velocity v is the final velocity right and v average is the average velocity when we talk about average velocity again the unit is meter per second only so the difference between speed and velocity is only about direction yes is everyone clear speed and velocity yes or no yes sir very good so i want you to note down the difference between speed and velocity can you do that you have to first you have to write the definition of average speed average velocity okay then the units of both and the main important difference speed is about just the distance covered upon time there is no importance of direction there when we talk about the velocity it is very important to mention the direction okay yes then so another set oh. of questions another yeah. set of questions for you this five questions distinguish between speed and velocity under what condition is the magnitude of average velocity of an object equal to its average speed right this this is this question the second question you will be able to answer from the first one itself okay what does the odometer of an automobile measure we have already discussed what does the path of an object look like when it is in uniform motion now this will require some thinking and during an experiment a signal from a spaceship reached the ground station in the 5 minutes what was the distance of the spaceship 
from the ground station. Now to solve this, this is very easy example. Right? We have got during experiment a signal from the stations in five minutes. So T is equal to T is equal to five minutes. Okay. And we have to find the distance as we have to find the signal travels at the speed of light. So V is equal to three into 10 raised to H meter per second. Yes. Meter per second. Okay. You can see it on the screen. Yes or no? So we have the formula V is equal to S20, right? And S is equal to V into T. So we have got 3 into 10 to 8. Sorry, your voice is lagging. My voice is lagging. I'm sorry. I don't know why it is happening. It must be because of the internet. Yes. And T is in 5 minutes, right? So 5 into 60. Do the math, right? Do the math and find the answer. Okay. Right, everyone? Got it? That's it for the day then.